Because this week is going to be an incredible week, actually the coming week. But right now, I wanted to show you, if you can tell all these markers on here, this is a Navajo loom, believe it or not, underneath all the markings. But I'm going to just kind of go from the top and go down and explain these things to you. It's going to be very helpful for those who are Navajo or are Diné kids who are younger, who don't understand. And it'll tell you the different parts of a loom. And I'm going to say it in English and then in Navajo. So this is my loom. It's a very small loom in preparation for grandma shearing and the carding and the spinning and the dyeing and everything that's going to happen the next weekend. So here it is. Now, this is the loom. And basically this top bar, the upper beam is called Yadethish. It means this is the father sky up here. And then down here, see this is the lower bar down here, right here, down here. That's Mother Earth and that Nahasan, this represents Mother Earth down here. Okay, and if you can see that, I'm going to remove that. And then um, down here is a loom bar and it's called Nibish Yistlon. That's this, Nibish Yistlon. And that is the loom bar, okay? I'm going to take, slowly take these down. So you need to keep an eye on this. And I told you the upper beam is, this is called Yadeshish, kind of the blue sky. So this is the top part. And this is what they refer to as father, father sky. Then here, this cord right here is the tension cord. And it's called Akedaistlonine. That's what this is, okay? And now here, these right here, this is a tension bar right here. And that's what it is. It's a tension bar. Then here, right here, there's three of them right here. This is the binding wire cord and it's like something that's holding it up. Okay, so that's these right here. Next, okay, uh, let me do the shed rod. This is this right here. That's what this is, okay? And right here, this one is the heddle rod is Beini. This toy means you pull it, and that's where you pull it to be able to put this batten in here. So that's the heddle rod right here, this. And then the warp, this is called the warp. It's a vertical warp. All of this right here. And that's what it's called. This all of these here. Nanolje. And it's called the the weft is horizontal. The warp is vertical. This beam to the left is a vertical beam, and that's called a sdane. And basically this is a female. And over here, the right vertical beam over here is considered the male, hastin. That's a male. So the male and the female side. And right here, right here, it's called the twined weft sal salvage cords. And these basically are considered lightning striking down to the ground. It goes all from the back, way down here. So, this is basically, and this is a batten. I don't have the comb, bedzoi, but irregardless, so you have this, and like I said, you have earth, you have the lightning, the rain, then then you have Mother Earth, and this is basically it. And I wanted you to see this so that you can see for yourself 
what this loom is, what it consists of, and the words that it represents. And Grandma's not a really good weaver. I want you to know that. So um, we're learning as you are learning too. So this is my little short intro to the beginning of our wool and processing and grandma shearing. Oh, you're gonna laugh when you see what's gonna happen. And here is a part of what's gonna happen later. Grandma is going to be spinning, but before you spin, you have to card. So here is grandma's carding stuff and then spinning. So this is what I wanted you to see before we start and it's going to be fun and I hope you are learning as we go along and maybe one day you're going to become an incredible weaver and of course you know there's always the spider woman and the spider man made the loom is the mythology and spider woman is the one who taught how to make the designs and then what I'll do is I'm going to also get a, a rug and and show you what the symbolisms of the rug. There's all kinds of little odds and ends that you can find out about a rug and how it, uh, just the meanings of the different symbolisms on there. So this is it. Grandma loves you and thank you for watching. And I will see you again pretty soon. And we're gonna learn about rugs and then we will get into the shearing. Sounds good. How going that?